All right, so here's our next installment of me and Louise doing our workout. Shoulder press, getting a little bit more range with dumbbell, able to you know change our elbows, our wrists, how far we go up, down, keeping it normally beside the ear, trying to stay straight up and down. That way we're hitting the, the, the whole shoulder joint. Nice compound movement here. This is uh, especially for front delts. It helps develop good thickness in the front delts. So here I'm just, you know, using the elbow wrap to stay warm. Bring it back down to my knees so I don't just drop it on the ground. Louise go in, making it look easy. <laughs> Going down to the ears, pumping it up, getting the blood in the shoulders. This is more like a warm-up set for him before he goes super heavy. But I also try to focus on the negative uh, negative resistance, not just going down fast, controlling the weight and uh, bringing it back up with so intensity, but still under control. Yeah, some people bring it down too far, too fast, hurt the elbows or the shoulder joint. Here we're going to height, I think it's 120s. Yeah, the 120s. A heavy set. A heavy set. It was heavy, trust me. Same deal, trying to get the shoulders not not leaning back so far and letting the butt come out from the bench that you're hitting front chest, but more front delt and side delt. Nice heavy set. Next exercise, uh, we're really just trying to get a pump on the uh, Smith machine doing the same thing, uh, but getting the assistance of the, the hammer strength. This is, this is more of a drop set. Uh, this is where we burn out. Uh, we put some a good weight and then uh, get whatever rep he can and then we can drop to the next weight, do the same thing, get 8 to 10 and then drop again and burn the, the shoulders up. This will get a lot of blood into the shoulders, different type of burn, you know, there's many ways to get intensity, whether that's super heavy hitting the central nervous system along with the muscle, but doing a drop set, you know, keeps the heart rate high, keeps the blood in the muscle, gets a good deep burn. And it's good when if you have a spotter, you know, get those few more reps. Have them force, force those last few uh, reps to go up. I can I have Mike McCall to the front desk? Mike McCall to the front desk. Thank you. Excuse the boys over there. That's, uh, that was the gym. He's erupting us. <laughs> Here, anytime I do a, a, a bench like that, I try to keep my head tucked anyway, my chin tucked. Here we're doing some front raises. We're usually doing some front raises with the... Uh, Dumbbells trying to warm up, single arm one at a time. This shoulder work that we actually do two exercises for each delt. We do the front delts, the, the middle delt, and the real delt. So you're gonna see different variation of the workout. Yeah, the front delt uh, doesn't usually need a lot of work. This is a different variation of a front delt that I like to do. It's kind of like in lieu of say a, ha uh, a kettlebell where I keep a little slight bend in my knee to keep the, stre the stress off my lower back. But I do a front raise, which helps me pull the hands together, almost like a hammer type of grip, and uh, more stability in the shoulder joint. But I bring up with the front delt. The chest gets tight too, the arms get tight. Sometimes uh, it's nice to be able to go heavy and then do some isolation stuff after that. Moving forward to, uh, you're gonna start working on the middle delt. This is where we do some uprises with the split machine. You know, under control, keeping your elbows up, uh, you know, don't drop it too fast, focus on the negative, the same one with the positive. Good, good, good. Same thing with not going too high. A lot of times when you go too high, you end up squeezing your traps together. Here I'm doing a different variation where I go even wider. So it's almost like doing dumbbell side lateral. I'm leaning into the machine a little bit. In the mirror, I should be able to see my middle delt popping up, not just my front delt. If I lean back too far, then my front delt really takes a hit. So I'm trying to stay wide and go up to maybe a mid-chest level. Here you can actually go a lot heavier, um, but you try to focus on middle delt. Over here we're going to start the, our FST7 where we uh, do uh, lateral races, back-to-back, uh, -back, like 20 second reps in between. We're, we're trying to get 10 reps in each for seven sets of non-stop, back and forth, back and forth. It's, it's, it's like a cardiovascular work uh, set you will be wore out by the time you're done. Okay, so here, you're not getting much rest, seven sets of 10. We're trying to stretch the fascia, which you know encases the muscle. So you're trying to get so much blood in the muscle, it kind of stretches it out. You know, being a bodybuilder, you're not just trying to get stronger, you're trying to look bigger. And you need to get those muscle bellies to really pop. Here we're doing some shrugs, uh, dumbbell shrugs. This is where we start focusing on our, our traps. 
uh, making sure we squeeze them on top. You know, not just focus on squeeze, put, pushing our neck good, down good traps, good to give it the illusion that we're working the trap. We actually are focusing on the control, not just, you know. Yeah, so the, Louise's version was hitting his rear delt and his traps at the same time. This is another variation where I pull my hands together, kind of takes the arms out of it and I squeeze up to the front. I was doing a, a triple set here where I did uh, hands closed for six reps, hands wide, which really pulls the arms out for six reps, and then I went hands medium for six reps. Normally we're doing um, not super heavy weights anymore on shrug, or we're focusing more on pull up, hold for a one or two second uh, squeeze, and then back down again. I mean, our traps are also getting thicker from all the deadlifting we've been doing and bent over rows. Yeah, a lot of people make the mistake of just putting five, six plates on this side, and they're not truly working the muscle. They are in the illusion that they're doing, doing the work, but they're not getting most out of, out of that weight. Here, a little bit of bend over row. Um, what he's doing with his head rested on the bench to keep his angle of his body where he wants it. The dumbbells turned out that the pinkies are up and focusing more on the rear delt. There's a little bit of bend in the elbow, focus on the rear delt. That's your focal point where you're bending. And now moving forward, this is our FSC 7 for real delt. Uh, the, same, the same idea, 7 sets, 10 reps, 20 second break in between, back and forth. It's a burner. You're going to get a lot of blood into that, into that muscle, so definitely you guys should try it out. So with rear, yeah, here we're just doing a little bit of posing, just trying to stretch out the shoulder joints. So we're hitting some of the poses that would really stretch the shoulder girdle. Uh, here behind the back, most muscular. Um, front front elbow the, bicep. Yeah, just trying to roll the elbows forward. Again, now we're going to be doing the, the real delt. Just, you know, get that squeeze where the muscle will stretch and hopefully get a little more blood in there. And he's doing his bicep curls. <laughs> <laughs> that just shows all three heads of the dumbbell or the shoulder joint. And the hands on hips, most muscular. Stretch out, he's trying to stretch out the shoulders. Here's the hands on hips, most muscular. Yeah. Trying to roll the shoulders forward, see the traps in the front delt, that one behind the back most muscular. <laughs> this will pull the shoulders yes. back and stretch them out. You feel that one. I was feeling that one. <laughs> Here, like a back double roll by, back and rolling the shoulders and the elbows back. Uh, pop the lats out. You can see the whole shoulders. I mean, nothing will make the back double by look better than all three shoulder uh, muscles popping out. Good. Good. Well, this, is, this is our shoulder workout. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, John and I. We're gonna bring you more videos, so keep, stay tuned with us. All right, hey, next yeah, time. going forward. Peace out.